Hi, I'm Ryan Levine with Utah Working Capital. Now I'd like to talk about classified balance sheets. As we've discussed, a balance sheet contains three main sections. First of all, all of the assets within the company. This contains the balances within the cash accounts. This includes all inventory uh, that the company might own, all of the accounts receivable or bills that companies still owe uh, to your particular company. It also includes all of the long-term assets such as buildings, land, equipment that might uh, be used. What a classified balance sheet does is it takes all of those categories and it clumps them into uh, specific classes. So for example, all of the assets um, that uh, are, are the same as cash are included in a cash and cash equivalent classification. All of the uh, long-term assets, such as uh, property, land, buildings, um, equipment, or heavy machinery are included in property, plant, and equipment. Um, all of the intangible assets, such as goodwill um, or trademarks, are included in um, goodwill assets. And anything else is included in, in other assets. So as, as investors or other people who might be analyzing a balance sheet will see, um, all of these different types of accounts and balances are put into different classifications. And sometimes we see the balance sheet consolidated into those types of groups. With the liability section, we see two main classifications. Number one, short-term debt, which includes anything that's due within one year's time period. And two, is long-term debt, so anything that's included uh, greater than one year. Um, and with uh, stockholders' equity, we also see classifications. We see contributed capital. Um, we see retained earnings that the company continues to keep and reinvest in the company. And we also see additional paid-in capital. Uh, and this third classification uh, helps helps investors understand uh, the uh, money that's paid um, in excess of the par value of the stock. For further additional questions, contact us at utworkingcapital at gmail.com.